Hey you all, welcome back to Pearls of Eden. I know you've seen a lot of me today and listen, I make no apologies for it because the Lord gave me a word to share today and I'm trying to break it up and I'm trying to do as best I can. So I pray that it blesses you, but I'm coming on and I'm doing what I'm called to do, okay? Today is October 10, 24. 24. It's a very special day, which is why I believe the Lord has had me release so many words today. Um, it's a very prophetic day, guys. There's a lot to look forward in this day, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting patiently as God is dropping all kinds of treasures and jewels and gems, and He's pouring out His glory, you all. And I'm excited for what the day holds. I'm expected in my spirit. I'm expected, and I'm just knowing that it's going to be good. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you about renewing your mind because part of 2024 is the renewal of mind. Renewing our mind so our mind is aligned to Christ. And as I was praying yesterday, I said, Lord, if there's anything within me that doesn't align to your will, take it away. If I want, if my thoughts are not aligned to yours, Lord, I lay them before you, please. I want my thoughts to align to you. I want my hearing to align to you. I want my sight to align to you. Lord, do your will in my life. Holy Ghost, have your way. And so I wanted to share with you Romans 12. Uh, let's see, verse 1. Beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Let's talk about it. Renewing. I'm going to give you five steps to renewing your mind in Christ. Number one, you've got to become intentional about it. It's got to be something that you desire, that you're focused on, that you're praying about. Lord, give me the mind of Christ. And you've got to be um, willing to surrender to the Holy Spirit as he unctions and speaks to you to do his will. And as you unction to the Lord through obedience and surrender, you'll see a transformation happening. So you need to set aside day daily time to be with God. I mean, intentional. I mean, you literally set aside time. 5 a.m. is my time with God and nothing's going to get in between me and my God. Before I go to bed, I'm going to make sure between 7 to 9 or 7 to 8, I don't know, whatever your time is, um, I'm going to spend time with God. And it's going to be our quiet time where I'm going to cut off every voice. I'm not going to be listening to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, nothing. Sometimes it's good to just be in silence and just to minister unto the Lord. And he will help you to do that. I like to play prophetic music as I'm spe spending time with God. Um, but what I mean is you just have a quiet moment alone by yourself just to be in the word of the Lord, okay? So be intentional about that and watch as your mind is renewed and transformed to look more like Christ. Um, number two, you need to identify any negative thoughts. Anything that is trying to plant a seed in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit that does not align to God's word, you've got to cast that down and put it under the feet of Christ Jesus. You have the authority to do that. So you have to monitor your thoughts. You have to be really good. Is this thought aligned to the word of God? And when you decide, no, it's not, you say, I cast it under the feet of Christ Jesus. Every thought must bow to the name of Jesus. You get in the practice of saying and doing that, watch your mind become renewed. Now you need to replace those negative thoughts that the enemy wants you to take uh, agreement to and you need to replace them with positive um, thoughts that align to the word of God. So whatever your struggle is, maybe you're struggling with having peace. Find scripture that uh, will relate to whatever struggle you have and meditate on that, which is number three, meditating on the word of God. You need to know scripture, write it down. Whatever issue you're having, you're struggling with having faith. You need more faith. Find scriptures pertaining to faith, write it down, meditate on it throughout the day. Maybe it's your peace. Maybe substance abuse, you're struggling with that. Find scriptures that can help strengthen you and meditate on those things and watch your mind be renewed. I hope that is helpful. All right, tip number four. 
and renewing your mind. You need to surround yourself with people who are encouraging, that are positive, that inspire you to be better. And that means sometimes that is going to challenge you, right? So you don't want to hang around people that all the time think the way you do and do the things the way you do it. You want to aspire to be around people that make you better, that will get you out of your comfort zone. And I actually have a word that the Lord wants me to drop later on today. It's talking about alignment. In this season, I told you all going into 2024, you were going to have to check your inner circle and we're still having to check and we're having to make some adjustments as we're going through this open door in this season. Today is a day of open door and God is removing people that don't align to his will for your life and he's replacing them also with divine connections. But in order to receive the new you got to let go of the old so we're gonna get into that so y'all better subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for this is going to be such a blessed word for so many so subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss it I'm gonna drop it later on today maybe this evening but we're gonna talk about realignment and what that looks like in this year as you are allowing the Lord to prune away some ungodly alliances and relationships and that doesn't mean just people, that can be substances, that can be all kinds of things, but we're gonna get into it um, out in that video for that teaching. So subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, <clears throat> practicing gratitude number five, this is huge. I have my gratitude journal. And in this journal, I write down answered prayers, prayer requests, things that I'm so thankful God has done for me in my life and I just give thanks to him and I can look back and I just give God praise and I give praise for answered prayers. I date it in my book and it's such a pleasure to go back and look through all the years. I can go back and say, look what the Lord has done for me and my family and for others. And it's a living testimony. And I have journals. Oh, I got so many journals throughout the years. And it is such a blessing just because you forget. How many of you know you'll forget if you don't write it down? You're like, that happened in 2020. God blessed me in 2019. God. So my point is, get a journal and start writing down everything you're grateful for. All right, guys, I got to go. Y'all got a lot to watch. Please go watch my videos that I have placed out there. I have one about Allie Carter, which means a lot to me. Also, I did one about Kamala Harris. What is her faith? We talk about that in current news. So go and support the channel when you get a chance. Just watch the videos, comment, engage, like. Um, thank you so much for your support. I love you all. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Walk in the light. God is with you. And if God is for you, no one can be against you. All right. Bye.